Hello, I am back again with the second generation Winstonia plates. Um, Winstonia put out uh, an original set which was really cool and this is their second set so I'm going to walk you through it today. Um, this is Winstonia 201, a basic kind of plate that has different geometrical forms on it. Um, this one's a little new, it reminds me kind of like of little stacks of books. This is Winstonia 202. I like the skeleton leaf outlines. And my favorite on this plate is this one, especially turned this way. It kind of looks like like really thick barbed wire or like a monster scratched across something. So I, I'm going to be using that for a Halloween for sure. Little hummingbird. Um, this is Winstonia 203, uh, kind of an abstract zebra. I love this. This is like really fancy cloud swirls. I think that's cool. And a um, little key over here. And something that looks like a pot-bellied stove to me. If any of you guys know what that is, let me know. You guys are awesome. You always know the stuff I don't know. Uh, 204, <clears throat> a little bit, some more kind of like crazy, really dynamic patterns. Um, old school, very old school telephone. This goes with that other pattern on the first um, plate. Reminds me of some books and a stack. Here we have a few more stripes and fingerprint. And then I love this. This would be a beautiful st um, background stamp to give kind of like a foil effect. Like when you have foil on your nail and it's... Um, it's partially there and partially off, so sort of a distressed effect with that too. Let me see if I can get back in focus. Here we go. Um, here is 206. So there was a, a smaller one that looked like this, a very uh, just a tiny little square on that first plate. So I like that there are some things that go together with this, gives you more designing possibilities. Um, these look like tire treads to me, or it could be the threads on a, um, a baseball, cool old-fashioned bicycle. Uh, this is 207. This is clearly a kind of a Valentine's love plate with, I like this heart here with all of the different um, words in it and this is cute the hearts um, dangling down and and then the little parade of hearts over here very cute uh, Winstonia 208 this is a plate that's um, kind of uh, fairies and and uh, I love the little mushroom like the um, the caterpillar right on uh, Alice in Wonderland and then I love this when I was a little girl I had a strawberry shortcake t um, toy and there was like a um, a kind of a house in the shape of a strawberry and all the stuff was inside and that just reminds me that it takes me right back to when I was a little girl. This one is a fair or a festival or a circus kind of plate and you've got some clowns and a pretty carousel and little pup, little poodle jumping through a hoop. Very cute. Um, here is 210. This is more of a wildlife plate. You've got a koala and a raccoon and a fox and um, um, manatee? I'm not sure about that one. Um, an otter! I think it's an otter! It's an otter! Oh, it's so cute! Okay, then here is 211. This is a fiesta plate, kind of Cinco de Mayo, or um, sugar skulls for Dia de los Muertos. Um, uh, these are like little, little chili peppers dressed up like mariachis, and um, I guess maybe if you had a little bit of imagination, maybe they could also be tequila worms. Um, either way, I'm going to be honest, I find them a, a little bit creepy, but kind of in a cool way. Here is Winstonia 212. This is more of a spring Easter plate. I love this kind of, this to me goes with that fairy plate. It's sort of, um, has a fantasy feel to it. Very nice. And then get your little chicks and little bunnies for, for Easter. Um, this is... Winstonia 213, which is sort of a Native American plate with the dream catchers and tomahawk and a teepee, that kind of stuff. Um, 214, a Wild West plate. Uh, I'm not hugely into Wild West themes myself, but I do love this buffalo here, and I love this, this southwestern kind of um, cow skull. Winstonia 215, um, I love with the castles and the knights, and these are some really cool candles with some cool detail on that. I love that. 
Here is 216 disco plate. Uh, I saw somebody do a really cool, cool manicure with this plate with the disco balls and the disco dancers. That is fun, especially if you're going to something like a retro 70s party or something. That would be awesome. All right, here's another fantasy-ish plate with your Pegasuses and your um, Poseidons and your Aladdin coming out of your, um, your genie coming out of your bottle. And I love this with the sun and the moon and your sea monster coming here. Oh, and pigs that are flying. Of course, we must have pigs that are flying. Winstonia 218. Um, this makes me think of the Netherlands with the tulips and the windmills. Um, I don't know if they have these kind in, in um, the Netherlands. I know we have these where I live up in the mountains and some train tracks, uh, weather vane. Um, Winstonia 219. This is kind of like another traveler's plate. So you've got London and the sort of London cabs. I love these Russian nesting dolls. I think those are just so fun. And um, I believe this is the Great Wall of China. And then we've got a couple of Egyptian figures there. And I personally think you can never have too many Egyptian figures. Our dinosaur plate with the waterfall, which is pretty darn cool to have a waterfall, actually. And um, I love this volcano. And then a few dinosaurs, which I've got some other dinosaurs. These have um, a little bit more detail. Depends on what kind of look that you're going for. Although these are kind of big, some of these. But, you know, you could still get the... the the most of that, you know, the head and stuff of the Tyrannosaurus Rex, so you could still get the feel. Or you could even put the Brontosaurus like over two um, if you wanted to or anything like that. Um, it's good to have options. And uh, my other plates are a little bit smaller. So um, the Halloween plate, 221, I had a couple of people um, alert me to the fact that there was a witch that was stirring a cauldron and coming out on these plates because I mentioned that I wanted, I would love to see that. And so this is really cool for me. I love, um, I've seen this a few times now, but again, always good to have options with the um, jack-o'-lantern. You could stamp that in orange and then pick your face and stamp that in black on top of it. So it gives you some flexibility. A different kind of ghost, a little bit more creepy, but not like super creepy. So again, good to have different kinds of ghosts. And I love this critter mouth, especially because it preserves the color of your nail and then you're just stamping the teeth over it. The color of your of your nail will be what the color of the teeth are. So you could paint your nail in white, for example, and then stamp over it and the white teeth will be preserved, which is a cool thing because it's hard sometimes to stamp white over other things, so over other colors and have it show up well, um, depending on what you're, you're using. Winstonia 222, this is a Christmas play with your nice um, cute little Christmas tree and some cute ornaments. This is a cool plate to you can put different colors just little dots of different colors for your different ornaments and then um, you know put silver up here and then scrape down and you'll get silver strings or white strings or whatever with your different colored ornaments and um, they've designed in a way to make that really easy to use that technique um, this what you're doing here the dots are going to be the color of your nail so let's say you paint your nail white and then you want to stamp over it with silver or something um, and and this again, I, I believe that the intent here is that if you want to match white with a color that it's going to be hard to stamp over, this maybe gives you a little bit more flexibility to be able to try to do that. Okay, so those are the Winstonia plates. Let me do a quick comparison with Conad for you. So here is the standard Conad plate. You can see that the Winstonias are a little bit bigger, a little bit wider, and a little bit taller. And um, I will of course have stills of all of these on my blog and on my blog I will also link you to a nail comparison chart that uh, that a friend of mine allowed me to use on the blog. Okay, so there's the Winstonia second generation plates. Thanks for watching. Bye.